hi and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to talk about the state of the game and what i think is needed to be fixed in order to we to, so we can have a more balanced game we do have some things at least in my opinion that are unhealthy for the game and that are not good for the even future of the game if this continues to be like that. If you're new here, please uh, subscribe because you won't miss other content that I'll be posting out in the future. And you're also helping the channel out. Okay, so without any further ado, let's hop into the video. Here is the power rankings and here are the top decks. And you can say an unofficial tier list because the power rankings can describe better uh, the situation than the tier list so what makes a deck top tier why is for an example resonators that just came out why are they top tier so <laughs> we have the perfect deck to showcase what I'm what I mean so as you can see they they don't have any semi limits so they can play Tronade and Treacherous and I also want to touch upon Book as and the MST as well because what's the point in a, in having tons of decks that all play the same <laughs> like this is this is becoming the core of the deck not the tech like you just put some a couple of monsters that you can uh, go into your uh, synchros or xyz or whatever and then the core of the deck is the back row and the back row removal as you can see <laughs> the deck has triple book of moon triple mst and also trunade and treacherous and in my opinion i don't know I, i'm do you see what I'm trying to say? Like, <laughs> there are, what, five resonator cards, and you can say Wild Wind is also a resonator card. So there are eight cards in a, what, 20 card deck that, five, 10, 15, 20, 24 cards deck, damn, that, <laughs> that are the, ar the specific archetype cards. The goal of the deck is to have the advantage with the monsters with a cap with a couple of archetype cards and the consistency of the skill and then you just disrupt like crazy with the back row and as you can notice it's just it's not just resonators like harpies are not far away from that Onomats are not far away from that water as well. Um, <laughs> is a completely story for itself. I mean, yeah, you can say, uh, oh, it's subjective. Some people like uh, these kind of decks more, but notice that it's completely sacky. Like if you if you draw into your uh, diva and treacherous, or if you draw into your treacherous and book, or if you draw. If, if you draw these cards, you can just sack the opponent and he can't play the game, really. So my point is that Trunade, Book and Treacherous are too much for the current format and the current state of the game. And you can see that by just by looking and seeing that most top tier decks and the, what makes the deck top tier <laughs> is that they play Treacherous and Book and Trunade. Like if you remove from Resonators Treacherous Book and Trunade and maybe even MST, then <laughs> what is left? There is no deck left. And I'm not saying uh, they should ban per se, they should ban the Trunade and the MST and the Book. I'm just saying that it doesn't seem healthy. I don't know the solution. I'm just presenting what I think is the problem and then the solution I don't know <laughs> I'm not I'm not an expert in anything I'm just trying to present the problem and then the solution we can discuss there is no one right solution so yeah we have treacherous in resonators 
and uh, treacherous in tons of decks that if you draw into it like you s and the other the opponent doesn't have MST you just sack them and they lose and then you might say like well just semi limit some decks that abuse the card <laughs> well what's the point in that are they going to semi limit every deck after a while like I predicted that some decks are getting semi-limits like Water Harpies and Resonators in my prediction uh, for the ban upcoming ban list, and I mean that's going to happen all the time. Like there, the Konami is going to release a deck that is a bit more consistent and has a better. They will put a better skill than the Resonators have, and then that's going to be the top tier deck. It has nothing to do with the specific archetype or anything really. The deck is literally just consistent monsters with tons of traps and tech cards that are becoming the core cards. Like if you don't have Book, Treacherous, MST and uh, Trunade, like why even <laughs> play the deck? And we've seen it for years now, since the Treacherous and Trunade were released, like... <laughs> They just they just semi limit every other every other deck instead of just banning the treacherous and the trunade and yeah I see the point I see why trunade is needed like if there is Shiranui then there should be a trunade to get rid of the tons of back row that they put on but yeah it's a completely sacky strategy and. I'm not sure that leaving Trunade and Treacherous, at least for now, is a good thing. Like, why did we ban um, Cockatus and why did we ban Grass that's Greener? It's just because for the current uh, format and the current meta, the cards are, were too broken people put them in every deck and now you can see in every deck you have MST, Book, Treacherous and Trunade like literally in every deck that doesn't have a semi limit so yeah that's my view on the Trunade, Book and Tre Treacherous those are the in my opinion cards that are becoming the core of the deck instead of like I said being the tech and like I said, I don't know the solution, but it does seem like the best thing to do is banning them, as they have done that already with some cards. I also think that um, Destiny Draw is not healthy for this game, especially with the introduction of Whale. But as you can see, there are not many decks that abuse Destiny Draw, so I guess it's better, but yeah, um, playing tons of hand traps and destiny draw is in my opinion a toxic strategy and I touched upon that on the banlist prediction. What I didn't touch upon is the book and treacherous and true nade because <laughs> we can't predict them banning them and we can't predict something happening to those cards because we know for a fact they are in the game for years now so they're not going to ban them obviously and they're not going to do anything with them and again that's my video the point of the video is not to uh, <laughs> to conclude anything I'm not uh, stating that the cards should be banned or should not be banned I'm just saying that there is an obvious problem and that the solution might be to ban the cards. Write me down below if you think that we should uh, have Trunade and Treacherous. Yeah, I do get that some decks would then, if there was no Treacherous and Trunade, be played more, but yeah, I think it's a double-edged sword if you do ban them and if you don't ban them. So yeah, write me down below your thoughts on this and um, yeah, um, if you're new, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss other videos that I'll be posting out. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.